to cut in a hip or a valley today. So what we need to know first is our clear spun and our runner's hip per meter. So the pitch of my roof is 38 degrees. Okay? So on the length of hip, it's 1.616. So, so what I've done is I've cut two common rafters from using the span, okay, span divided by two times by runner rafter okay, with burn spat on. So I've put these two up. Now to mark the distance back, what you've got to do is measure the span. That's 920. Divide that in two. 920 divided by two is 460. Now I've come back 460 to the centre of this rafter. So that's 460 to the centre of that rafter on both sides. Then I've come 460 to the centre here. Okay. Then I've come half the thickness of my rafter this way. Okay. So my raft is going to sit on that line there. Okay. Now to get these in the right position so they're not leaning over to either which way, the ground rafter is exactly the same length but what you've got to do is deduct half the thickness of this rafter off of this ground rafter square. So I'm going to come off 18 here. 18 mil. Set the square up to 38 degrees. And I'm going to take that off the rafter. So I want to make sure that the centre of my rafter is centre of the span. And then with the top, I'm going to mark the centre of my rafter again. slightly lower because the centre of that goes up into the centre of this crown rafter. Right, now for, the, now for the ridge, the hip cut, sorry, the hip cut. So, the corner of this, because we've formed up a perfect square, is going to be 45 degrees. So, my edge cut, it's 45. And then in the book, it says my ridge cut, or plum cut, is 61. Now what we've got to do with that 61 is we've got to take that off of 90. So 90 minus 61 gives you 29 degrees. So I'm going to set my roofing square to 29 degrees. I'm going to cut a 
What I need to do is take my clear span, which is the distance from this rafter to the edge of the wall plate, which is 443 mil. I'm going to zero 443 times that by 1.616, and that gives me a true length of 0.78. Okay. So off the top of this hit, I'm coming down 718. Coming down there with my ridge cut, I'm cutting the back in at 45mm, the same as my common rafters. Marking the seat cut up. Here, what I need to do is come half again, fitness in my timber. So I've got a line to work to. Now you can see here that we've got a nice tight fitting joint. So just to recap, it's a ridge cut of 61 in the book, but on the roofing square we're taking that off a 90, so it's a 29 degree cut with 245s on the top. And then the point of the hip, we're always working to this central point here. So what we need to do is back the hip in. That's how you put a hip in. Cheers.